Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Well, I've just done the Dunsey Tunnel. I'll just record a quick video of it actually. So I've just done, it's the shortest tunnel in the whole network. 25 yards it is. Um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna cruise down to, well, we're gonna cruise down to Starport, I think, today. Um, it's set to be the hottest autumn day on record. <laughs> um, it's gonna reach like 25, 26, so. Um, yeah, a bit chilly, a bit chilly start though. Um, yeah, it was like 11 or something this morning, and a fog, you know. <laughs> so that's why I'm all sort of rugged up, but <clears throat> I've got layers on, so all I have to do is take some layers off when it gets hotter later, because it will. Uh, yeah, I've noticed in England it does get hotter later, so sort of midday, after sort of midday it starts getting quite hot. <clears throat> So I thought to start early, and also you know the networks are pretty quiet at this time as well. You know it's only like seven o'clock, um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet. So perfect time to cruise. Oh, it's been lovely though. Oh, it's the most beautiful canal. Look at it. Oh. But I'll tell you though, I am gonna, the next boater that I meet that whinges and complains and moans about CRT or dredging or the network in any capacity, I'm gonna tell them to shut the F up. Because, you know, they really don't know how good they've got it. You know, I'm so humbled to be cruising around the canals. I really am. It is such a, I feel so lucky to be able to do this, particularly at this time, you know. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't, it's like boaters have got nothing else to talk about but whinge and complain about the CRT or, you know, the network or but other boaters or whatever, you know? And I'm like, <clears throat> you know, I've had my dash with aggressive boaters down the, jo uh, the Grand Union, you know, with their uncontrollable dogs. Um, so what do I do? I just turned around and went the other way. That was my solution. But, you know, and I wrote about it on my blog, you know? It's like, if something pisses me off that much, I'll just write about it. Issue dealt with. Move on and enjoy the rest of the experience because, yeah, I reckon, you know, if people, I reckon the CRT should cancel the licenses of those who whinge too much. Put them back in an apartment. Maybe the CRT should have apartments dedicated to boaters. You know, let them, let them feel what it's like to be stuck in an apartment. You know, and, and make them realise how lucky they've got it. Anyway, that's my ramble for today. <laughs> oh, this is stunning. Oh, I love it. Let's <clears throat> put that over there so you can see a little bit more of the canal. I wonder what this must have been like 200 years ago. And I'm sure some of these trees are 200 years old. Um, so, you know, they wouldn't have cleared all the landscape, <clears throat> just enough to cut, <laughs> cut the canal, you know? Oh yeah, by the way, um, I noticed in my last vlog I mentioned that I uh, <coughs> was considering not doing the river. I kind of slept on it now, and I've noticed that the River Seven, uh, particularly in the in the, the upper half, has locks on it. <clears throat> so look, I'm wondering, people, if it's worth a getting an anchor and b getting a marine radio of some kind. Um, and given how good the weather is at the moment as well, I'm thinking, well, maybe that's a really good time. I know one of you, Mark, um, sent me information about um, <clears throat> like the river levels, uh, the indicator boards and that sort of thing. 
So if you've got any info on that that would help me out, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, just you know, send me an email through my contact form on the website, aussieboater.co.uk forward slash contact. Um, because I'm like, well, if the weather's like this for the next week, I might as well try, you know, try and get, get down there. You know, if I can get to even to Worcester, and then I can come up one of the other canals and maybe get up to Birmingham or <clears throat> something like that. But I don't really want to go into Birmingham, you know. I'd rather um, turn off. In fact, I can go down the, um, uh, the North Stratford Canal and take me down eventually down to Stratford upon Avon, but go down via the canal rather than up the River Avon, which is expensive anyway. It's like 70 pounds for a week or something. And you can't moor, you've got to have permanent mooring, you've got to blah, 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 blah. There's all these rules and regulations. I'm like, well, do you want people to explore this canal or not? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot if I can, because, well, why not? What's the worst that can happen? But I just want to be safe. That's my main concern. You know, I don't want to do it if it's going to uh, cause me increased levels of stress and anxiety. Um, but yeah, so if I can get an anchor um, and or a marine radio, I don't know what the rules and regulations are. Um, so if you've got any advice on that, please sing out. This is lovely. Oh, and a big hello to Tom, Tom Morgan. Tom was one of my founding members for my Facebook group, the Yogurt Pots. I uh, caught up with him yesterday, he came down and we cleaned up my spark plugs. Um, <clears throat> and that meant also that I was able to jot down the type of spark plug that I need to get and the type of um, spatter plug um, you know removal tool sort of thing um, so good day Tom thanks for your assistance yesterday so I've got uh, you know spanner on order now and spare uh, spark plugs so I'll swap them over but look uh, it seems to be running okay you know um, but when I looked them out yesterday they are looking pretty black so um, yeah it's time to change them simplest job in the world too <sighs> anyway. oh, wow. Right, well, I think it's time to do some, uh, Canal footage because I got I just got to share this. This is the most beautiful canal. Uh, even even the north stretch, you know, up towards Stafford, it's still really lovely. You know, like last year when I did it, I was like hell bent just getting up to the Calderton Canal and was was getting annoyed by all the sounds and stuff of the M6. But this year I've come to appreciate it a lot more. You know, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, my, I think it's my new favourite canal. It's just beautiful. It's a little bit more, bu a little bit more busy, obviously. You know, it's a bit more popular, uh, probably because it is so beautiful. But the Colden, yeah, and the Colden's isolated too. That's the other thing. Whereas around here, at least you've got road access and 4G and water points and what have you. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for me now. I'll catch you all very soon.